All right, guys, we are three days out, four days out from the Shaw Classic right now. And I wanted to give some context on what it feels like to be at peak performance. And I've talked to a lot of different athletes in a lot of different sports. This is not strongman specific. The same thing happened when I was running. The same thing happened when I played football. Always. I want to draw an obvious line of performance is not health. You can hear my voice right now. You can see like my eyes, I'm having a hard time like keeping my eyes open. My brain feels like it's fried, but I'm stronger than I've ever been. If you put me in the gym and I get going, I can lift more weight than I ever have. I also get out of bed in the morning, my feet and ankles are sore as hell. It takes me two, three minutes for them to loosen up to be able to walk around. My back is really sore. And my systemic nervous system, my sympathetic nervous system is just absolutely destroyed. The reason for this is that when you're pushing your body to the max in a strongman contest, let's say, you're not going to be able to recover as well as you can. This is why you can only get strong a couple of times a year before you have to accept that you've got to pull back on your training. You got to pull back on your total volume or total intensity because if I did this all year, I would be hurt and sick for the entire year. So I've pushed myself to the brink for this competition by design. When your sympathetic nervous system is shot, you can't sleep. And right now I'm up from about 2 a.m. to 4 a.m. every day. It drives me up the wall. <clears throat> I haven't had a voice in quite a long time, uh, which is partially a virus I picked up, partially that, uh, I don't know, I talk too much. I talk to you guys too much. Um, but largely it's because of sympathetic fatigue. And you get irritable, you have a hard time focusing. And these are the things that are massive problems in my life when I'm training. The thing that people don't understand is that it's not muscular soreness or fatigue. I'm more than happy to be sore. That really doesn't bother me at all. But not being able to focus, not being able to keep your eyes open is very difficult. And I think I have pushed myself harder than ever this prep. And I am not concerned. We are four days out from the Shaw Classic. That is plenty of time to be to get a little bit of extra rest, a little sleep, pull back the loads, do some stuff that makes you feel good, like going for a walk, and you're gonna be in good fighting shape by the time the competition rolls around. But I want you to know, when you watch me perform over the weekend, I get out of bed that morning, struggling to walk, because my ankles are stiff. I'm gonna to go to bed that night, and I'm gonna have a hard time falling asleep. I'm gonna have a hard time staying asleep. And these are the things that just happen when you're pushing yourself to peak performance. Peak performance is one of the most uncomfortable things you will ever put yourself through and anyone who's competed in anything at a high level can attest to that. So do not confuse peak performance with peak health. I am strong as hell, I'm excited, I'm ready, but I'm not as healthy as I could be right now. All in the name of your sadistic desire to watch me lift heavy weight. So lift heavy be kind. Thank you very much for watching. Go ahead, pick up some merch, link in bio, as per usual. Appreciate you, and we'll catch you next time.